Tēnā koe, ko Brent Simpson tēnei, and welcome to another Waiheke Media Teacher tutorial, this time on an add-on for Google Docs called Gradeproof, which claims to be proofreading with artificial intelligence. So we're going to uh, install this add-on, uh, fire it up, I think we need to create an account, so we'll do that, and we're going to check it out, see if we think it's actually worth something uh, you want to install. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so I just got a uh, kind of a random Google Doc open, not a particularly long one, and uh, we'll see how it works on this. And it is an add-on, and the way you get add-ons for a Google Doc is you open up uh, a doc and then you pull down this add-ons menu and you come down to the bottom. These are the add-ons that I've already got. But uh, so you go down to get add-ons, you get this little dialogue appearing, um, and you can, you can obviously look through uh, a variety of... Um, of add-ons that are available. I know the name of this one, so I'm going to type into the search bar, grade proof. And uh, here's the um, here's the add-on. I already have the add-on in, uh, installed in my machine, but if, if you were looking at it for the first time, you would get an install button here. So all you would need to do is click that button and it would install uh, grade proof for you. So uh, then you would have grade proof shows up in your list here of um, add-ons. So I'm just going to fire it up real quick and start. And here it goes. So it seems like it's actually just analyzed my document a little bit. And it's uh, suggesting to me that there's one spelling mistake, uh, that at least not in the English dictionary. Uh, the grammar engine says that there's one uh, grammatical uh, incorrect phrase that we could correct. Um, some advanced grammar engine says that, uh, I'm not quite sure what the difference is between those two, but we'll have a look. And then this one's interesting, four eloquence uh, tips, I suppose. It says the eloquence engine is a unique and powerful feature. Uh, and it's talking about improving the readability and flow that gives you a little bit of few um, statistics down here as well, which could be interesting to have a look at, particularly maybe for students, actually. Um, tells you how many characters you've got, how many words, how many sentences. But then this one's interesting here. It's the um, readability and grade level. So currently it says that my readability for this document any, anyway is uh, on 45%. And apparently a higher score uh, means that it's easier to read. So that could be something that you could actually um, use for students and, and see if they can improve the readability over time. And the grade level says it indicates the number of years of schooling required to understand the document text. And it says that it's 11.2 years um, for this one. And it's a reading time of about a minute or speaking time of two minutes. That could be valuable for people who are um, turning uh, Google Docs into speeches. So. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna view the suggestions, and it fires up another window taking me to Gradeproof. Now you do need an account for Gradeproof. I do not have an account yet, so I'm going to fire one up and to test this out. This is the first time I've actually done this, so we're kind of in some uncharted territory here. Sign up. Okay, I am. Uh, I will need to confirm my account at some point. I am using English, oh, New Zealand. That's good. Um, I will mainly use Grade Proof for teaching. I'm going to say. So let's get started. Okay, so here it looks like it has has analyzed my um, the text of my document. And what do we got? We got spelling is over here in red. Grammar is one advanced grammar. Okay, so the spelling. Aha, possible spelling mistake found inquiry. Oh, that's one I've always got to look up. I think they're right though, so I might. I wonder if I click that. Ah, it's changed that one. And then we've got advanced grammar. Aha. Oh no, let's just go to grammar. Possible error. Agreement error. Did you mean alls? I was discovered there are A W L. That's true. There is a disagreement there between uh, that should be a plural. So I do actually mean alls. I can change that. I also discovered there are A W Ls on Education Perfect. Okay. 
it's giving me a free trial at the moment, so that, that could be handy. Now, one of the things I did note when I had a look at their website was um, it is ultimately a paid service, um, and it looks like it's about $10 a month, which is pretty, I don't, I'm not sure how that compares to things like Grammarly. I think for students, that's a little bit um, expensive. But it might be that there's some a few little things that are even in the free version which could be useful, like I was thinking before, this readability and grain level and reading time and speaking time could be useful for students. Let's work, keep seeing as I've got a free trial here. Let's uh, move on. So my advanced grammar, word confusion, where's that? Do I have a word confusion? No, I don't think I... Oh, here we go. Mokhtari and Velton 2015 site, reading research over seven decades. No, that's actually one I can ignore because actually that's a citation. And then my elo the eloquence engine has picked up um, a couple of places where I might improve the flow of my document. It says the first time I ran the test and average for 10s was 28. This was considered quite high. And their suggestion is that whether I need the word quite um, I think I probably don't, so I'll accept that one, considered high by myself. The next suggestion for my eloquence and efficiency is I also discovered that there. I also discovered, yep, I could get rid of the word that there, so that's quite a good one. What else do we have here? Um, phrasing, consider shortening using, oh, here it is. Oh. Consider you simply various, developed a variety of resources. Okay, I could take that one as well. So far, I'm pretty actually happy with a lot of their suggestions for the eloquence. And the use of, consider shortening and using, using or use of, as well as looking at different contexts for, I could actually accept that one too, using this language. Ooh, there's also a plagiarism check. Let's try that. Okay, they want uh, some more money for that one, so I'm going to ignore that one now. So actually, come to think of it, oh, and if I apply the changes, still trying to sell me things, I'm going to apply those changes and see what happens. I think it's actually now gone through my document. I'll just check a few places. Yep, there's the AWLS one. Hmm. So... Actually, a quick review of it, and uh, it seems pretty good. It seemed pretty helpful. It did. Um, I really like the kind of um, the eloquence engine. It did sort of improve the flow of my um, of my document. It was a very short document, so it would be um, interesting to see, you know, on a far more extensive document how it how it worked and, and whether it actually made sort of overall improvements. It did some pretty picked up um, some spelling and. Uh, the grammar suggestions were, were right on as well. Pretty easy to use, right in a Google Doc, and then modify can you know go from its sort of modal window to modify the document. So that was pretty handy as well. Um, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see how much pressure they put on you to pay and whether it, you know. I mean, I, I was quite impressed with the eloquence engine thing. I think that's one of their paid things. So. Um, I suppose if you were doing a lot of writing, uh, something like this could be useful. I think for students, I'm pretty sure if I correctly, let me just go back to the um, to their website, which is gradeproof.com, and I'm pretty sure their plans are free, gives you access to um, the spelling engine, the grammar engine, and a custom dictionary. So the grammar and the spelling are fine. Um, and then Pro gives you the Advanced Grammar Engine and the Eloquence Engine, which was actually probably the most useful uh, aspect of it. So that would be, um, that looks like that's part of the Pro thing and it's about $10 a month. So possibly a little bit out of the uh, price range of students. Um, but for uh, someone who's doing a lot of writing, that's, that's not a bad deal. I still think there's a couple of things that could be interesting for students. Like I said, that um, the idea of looking at the uh, readability and the grade level and the reading time could be valuable. So, yeah, bit of a mixed review on grade proof. Looks like it has potential, possibly a little bit out of the price range for uh, use with um, in a in high school setting. 
once again thanks for watching the tutorial make sure you hit the like button if you're interested in these kind of tutorials and please subscribe as well if you want to get notifications for when i add new content to uh to the site kia kaha